As we finish out that fall landscape, which is so often recognized by the classic mum, especially the garden mum that we have, before we head into poinsettia season, we wanted to stop by King's Mum here in Sand Springs, Oklahoma to talk with Brian Knotts. Brian, thank you for joining us and letting us be here to see your display. <laughs> it's my pleasure. Thank you for coming. So let's first talk about what King's Mums is and what you guys are actually selling because it's not the flowers, right? No, no, we don't sell the flowers. So we sell small rooted cuttings um, and we sell to public gardens, mail order only, public gardens, uh, homeowners, and a lot of cut flower growers. Yeah, so, so. your product is very small that you're shipping. Yeah, it's this just point. a rooted cutting, hopefully in the three to six inch range with a root ball about the size, maybe a little bigger than a quarter. Okay, so, so at this point though, I mean, a lot of times we're talking about mums blooming. A lot of times we've bought our small round mum, you know, yeah. for our either pumpkin or Thanksgiving display. Sure. Um, but you've got quite a selection, and I know there are a lot of varieties. Can we talk through yeah. some of these? Sure. Love so to. what do we have here? <laughs> so <laughs> chrysanthemums, people think of the garden type like you're talking about, uh -huh. the little mounded balls uh, you see everywhere in the fall. But they're actually classified by flower form, um, kind of like a daffodil would be. Okay. So we've got 13 different classifications, but the last classification is unclassified. <laughs> so those are just ones we like. Okay, missed it. So <laughs> yeah, and this system was taken from Europe. Um, they're, they're really big into their flowers over there. You might have yes. heard. <laughs> so, so we've got all the different classes here just to give you an idea of what can be seen in chrysanthemums. A lot of these people have just don't remember or have never seen. Right, so. right. So, I mean, it's kind of, if you don't mind, talk through each one of them with us and so tell we'll, us what we're yeah, looking we'll, at. We can go through one through 13. So these are the irregular end curves. I think you remember these as the football mums okay. that people called. And this is not as big as it can get. Um, so that's class one. Class two would be reflex. And this one in the front where you're there, the petals are reflexing down. Okay. So that's what we're really after in this one. Class three is in curve. Um, it's a smaller in curve. It's not the the really big ones. So in curve meaning the petals. They will in curve down. Okay. So oh, okay. actually these will reflex down. So okay. yes. So yeah, curved in. Okay. We probably need to redo that one. Um, Class four is decorative, and this is probably the one people think of the most, mm -hmm. but I wanted to show you some of the different forms with the petals, because you wouldn't think of that as a decorative type. Right. But this is more commonly what you would see as that decorative okay. uh, flower. Okay. So then... And these, me... are, these are big, so these aren't the yep. football models. No, those are, those are uh, in curves as well. Um, and that one is a special one that I picked out. Um, that's actually a peacock type flower. That's the oldest one we have. And it was imported from Europe and it dates back to 1920. Wow, it's so, beautiful because it's yeah. got these kind of, I've never seen that on petals before. Yeah, and you don't see that at all. Um, there's only a few of them left. And as far as I know, I don't know of another one in this country Really? Um, that's being offered. And are they so, all pink like this too? That's the only cultivar okay. I have okay. like that. Right. So, and the and, little button mums? Yeah, that... pompons. Um, another really common one you see in the florist trade that's, you know, commonly grown just because they, they can last so long. Okay. So people love those. And then the others, uh, the single and semi doubles, a daisy type flower. Yeah, I was going to say with the classic eye. Right. Then. And they're really common again in the florist trade. Um, you see those everywhere. Then we've got the anemones and we've got some wild forms here with one that's, it's still in that classification, but to give you an idea of the different forms there. Um, the spoons, and I really try to get you to look at the, it's really at the end where that spoon tip is. Uh -huh. And you see the different sizes and different forms on those. So the petal's uh, actually kind of curled up and mm -hmm. then it opens up at yeah, the end. Yeah, and it's that spoon at the end that makes it that, you know, you can literally take that off and actually, you can imagine using it as a spoon right, right. if it would work <laughs> for that. So these are quills um, and we have different, different colors in there and just different sizes and shapes. So we're, again, we're, the quill has a tube at the end more. This one almost is a spoon, but it's not quite. It's more lance shaped. Okay. So, so it's similar to spoon, but a little bit different. All right. And then these are, my daughter would call these fireworks, but they're the spiders. Mm -hmm. And I can see why she calls them uh, fireworks. fireworks. She yeah. just loves that. Um, so that's what I call them now. And then the- And then are those old ones that haven't been in water? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these, we're, well, the mums are really late this year, uh -huh. um, but these are what are called uh, thistle brush or thistle types. Okay. And you really see those in the Japanese style. Okay, so that's um, they the love look those. Of them. Yeah, there are okay. just not many open. And then we've got just the other forms. They're, they kind of hit one form or classification or another, but they don't meet all the criteria for classification. Okay. But they're really pretty. Are they so, hybrids of some of these? These or? are all hybrids. Okay. Um, chrysanthemums don't. No. 
Yeah. <laughs> Growing them from seed is really, you never know what you're going to get. Okay. So once you do a hybridization, if you germinate that seed, mm -hmm. they all could be different flowers. Right. So that's why you don't see them grown from seed much. Which is why your role here in this yeah. position is so important <laughs> because you're providing cuttings to gardens all across the country. Right. right. The gardens um, for historical purposes. And then we're maintaining this, the genes, the genetics. Um, if we didn't do it, they might be lost in this country because we're about the last supplier of them left. Wow, that's so. amazing. So as we look at this, obviously they're classified by their flowers, mm -hmm. but they each take different forms yeah. as plants too. As plants or as we want them to take. Okay. So it just depends on what you know what the plant will do right. or what you want the plant to do. So often so, we look at something like this, but you get yeah. trailing ones or even some much taller ones. Yeah, and it's, again, the height variation. And this this one could actually be even taller. I sprayed it with a growth regulator to keep it a little shor shorter. Okay. But when we write four to five feet, uh, the plants can actually get four to five feet, e taller even if you have enough time. I've seen them eight, 10 feet tall. Wow. So, yeah. So obviously they all take on different forms, but some of that is manipulation based off of how you prune them, correct? Is that yes, yeah, pruning or pinching. training, <laughs> tying, all of those things. So we've got this plant here, and this is the football mom that you alluded to earlier. And we talk about looking at these flowers and they'd be different, but this is just one flower, and this is where we get into disbudding to get a different form. Wow. So this, we just removed all the flowers, where these we didn't, and you can see how much lar larger that flower is okay. and this isn't even a great example they can get much <laughs> larger than that that 8 to 12 inches for a football mom is not out of the question and it's not fully relaxed yet and open okay so that center mom's usually the biggest you right and you can all the other ones. you can see that right here on this stock that right. I left where that middle one's oh, the that's largest the middle. yeah okay. if we had left it you know, removed all of these, you could right. do that. And that happens when the buds are very tiny, is that Yeah, correct? before they're even open, you okay. want to be doing that because otherwise the plant's putting energy into flowers it doesn't, you don't want. Right, right. So. Okay, so let's talk a little bit. You're not after the flowers, so why have you <laughs> let all of these go to flower at this point? I'm checking to make sure they're blooming right because mm -hmm. I'm human, I make mistakes, I take cuttings, I... I might take the wrong one, which I did this year. <laughs> so now I don't have the right plant and I don't want to sell that to someone next year. They're right. expecting, you know, a yellow flower and I send them a pink one. Okay. So, so what's you, your you know. season kind of look like? Because I know most people are looking at buying mums, you know, going into fall, but yours are being sold when? I sell in the spring. So okay. I open my sales in January. Um, depends on when I sell out because I can only root so many. Um, and then I start shipping in March, and that goes through to June. And it just depends on where you live and your facilities on when you might want them. Okay. So, so yeah, because they'll be growing out longer for right. their fall. Right. So spring. generally, I recommend if you're a homeowner, uh, get them around your last spring frost date. Okay. So, of course, this is Oklahoma, so that could be... <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> yeah. So Well, Brian, hopefully we can make it back in the spring to see some of that propagation in action. And thank you so much for sharing all of this with us today. You're welcome. I'll see you in the spring, hopefully. Yes, thanks. We hope you enjoyed this video as part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on the OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.